I bought 100 Temporal Forces Pokemon Booster Packs from the brand new Pokemon card vending machine in Marion, South Australia, in hopes that we could pull the Raging Bolt Alterna Art and ultimately finish the Temporal Forces Master Set. And to make this even more exciting, for every single gold card that we pull out of 100 boosters of Temporal Forces, I'm gonna give away an unlisted leaf mystery pack to one lucky comment. So all I'm gonna say is make sure you're leaving a comment on today's video because you could go home with an unlisted leaf mystery pack and if we get 10 gold cards, that's 10 separate winners, which is really, really good. Or if you end up like our first ever booster box, we might not have a single giveaway. We might not pull one single gold card. But I would probably cry myself to sleep if that was the case because there are so many pretty ones that I really want in our collection. We got a Marauder on Holo card. Again, very playable, but if you watch my boost box opening, which I really recommend you like go back, just quickly have a glance at that one, I pulled almost the entire regular set. So we don't need, I reckon this might be something, but we don't need too many of these regular cards. Shut up, I want the illustration rare. We need those special arts. We need those EXs. We need a lot of the full arts. Scyther. Oh, we need Coridon. Look at the ancient logo right there. Oh my goodness. These attacks are brutal as well. This is it. All right, good start. Got an EX card already in the bag. That's a card I don't think we even have in the collection. So we'll take that one. Third booster in. We need some texture. We need some road bumps on these cards. Got a Psychic. And how are you going? Let me know in the comments. Ando, I've pulled 10,000 hand trimmers. I'm looking for uh, maybe a couple more great toss. Maybe I'm looking for for alligator. Beautiful card. Lovely artwork. You know what we really need though? I don't need for alligator. I need croconore. I haven't pulled one. I don't know what the deal is. So hopefully we get a croconore this episode. There's a couple of weird peculiar Pokemon like that we are really hunting down. But these illustration rares. You guys were saying in the comments some of your favorite artworks. Oh, oh, this is sick. This is the number one Ace Vet card. I didn't even get to talk about it yet. What do we got? Dunsparce, that's okay. And Fluttermane as the holo. This, in like, I think in Japan, it was going for almost 50 or $60 because it's so playable. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to the active spot. And if you do, switch one of your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Damn, that's gonna look really good in our binder. Okay. I don't know why, I get really excited over Aspex, just as if it's like a special illustration rare or something really expensive. So hopefully this episode, more Aspex cards, we're still missing I think two or three more. I would love to get Iron Crown Special Art. Man, it looks so good. I really wanna see what that card looks like in person. I haven't seen it yet. I think the texture would be unbelievable with the cherry blossoms in the background. Um, Raging Bolt. Probably one of my favorites out of the set, and I feel bad because Suicune's definitely, as far as the legendary beast go, Suicune's one of my favorite dogs. I love him to pieces. So it's like, I feel bad not saying Walking Wake, but Raging Bolt looks absolutely epic. Oh, another double up of the Sizzle EX. I don't actually mind about these doubles of the EXs. I'm heading to a trade day tomorrow, so I'm gonna take all my uh, double ups, bring them down to trade day. And the trade day is, oh, I'm really excited about trade day tomorrow too, because it's actually my birthday party um, I'm having there too. So we're going to have like a birthday party trade day, which is going to be really exciting. Rockruff, very playable, great task. Apparently you can form an entire deck around that card, which is exciting. I did mix these boosters a lot though. Like we got them out the vending machine. I set them up for the thumbnail, as you guys probably saw. So I have really like, whatever order they were put in those vending machine slots, I have mixed these up to... Beyond and back. Oh, Walking Wake! This is our first Walking Wake. Beautiful card. Maybe I do want a Walking Wake illustration rare. Maybe that would be really pretty. But as far as like regular illustration rares, I want that Drampa so bad. Chatot, Drampa, um... Oh, Gengar Full Art. That's another regular Pokemon. There's nothing too special. And I have a feeling if we could double up on that too, it would be a ho Oh! Croconore. Maybe we've already pulled one of those, but I'm gonna put that to the side. There's just certain cards I really need. Um, so if we double up on that, that'd be good. Macargo. And I'm just curious, like, what's the pull rates out of 100 different boosters of the brand new set? What are we looking at? How many crazy cards are we getting? This is a very, like, varied source, though. It's not like we got these... Oh! Self no. I thought it was gold. I saw this shimmer. Then I saw that, and I was like, surely it's gold. It's another Roaring Moon just tricking me. It's convincing me. It's like, there's definitely something here. Joking, it's just an ancient type. There's the code card. I'm getting trolled so hard. Metal type, got the Charger Bug, Slugma. 
Got the Skitty Chinchino. Great Tusk, Turtonator, Frostmoth, and a Whimsicott. Don't bag the Whimsicott, alright? It's actually a key ingredient to uh, com oh, completing the set. Hopefully you guys are getting good stuff in the code as well. I'll give away all 100 codes this episode. Unlisted Leaf, and hopefully something in the back here. Always a good sign. I love that Mr. Mime artwork. Got the Valiant, Sharpedo, Roserade. Oh, there we go! That was what I was talking Oh no, Charmander! Oh no! I did it. This is my number one. Well, I definitely up there. Chase card. That texture. Look at it. Cherry Blossom's all down here. The moon behind him. I can't believe we got it. Isn't this the most expensive card in the whole set? I genuinely think it might be. Definitely up there next to Raging Bolt Special Illustration Rare. Are you joking? That is sick. I actually can't believe I pulled that. I, I'm, in, I'm in disbelief. Do you reckon we can get Special Illustration Rare Raging Bolt? It looks like so cool. It's this ancient dinosaur sort of artwork of him roaming around. I have my fingers crossed. If I could get that, or maybe even like, you know what, Gouging Fire, Walking Wake, I'll take any of those. Litlin, another Coridon EX. I'll take that, because now that's our double. Oh, that would be so special. How good does that card look? Man, I just want to like, keep looking at it. It just looks fantastic. Maybe I want a double. Then I could keep like that one next to my computer while I edit videos, just stare at it all day. And then I could have a double inside of my binder. Iron Valiant. Oh, nice! I didn't even know this card was in the set. Explorer's Guidance, full art card. Looks really epic, doesn't it? Nice! Okay, that's really good. We are starting to rack and stack the full art cards. This goes right next to our Iron Crown. And let's keep it... Oh, I reckon it was Unlisted Leaf. It came through clutch on the last boost pack. Can it do it again? Ponita, Morty's Conviction. Morty's Conviction, full art, has a beautiful Gengar on it. Bramble Ghast. Iron Leaves. You know, as much as Unlisted Leaf is the channel name, we probably do have to go for that Iron Leaves um, <laughs> full art card. Guess it's kind of contradictory to my channel name, but I'd rather Iron Crown. And the best part is, we pulled Iron Crown full art out of my booster box the other day. So now I've got the full art and I've got the special illustration rare. And I've got the EX? Maybe not. Maybe we don't have the regular EX. Maybe that's something we're going to go for. We've definitely pulled a regular EX of all the beasts right now. So now we just need the rarer version. Send a Scorch. As if Send a Scorch gets another card. Oh, Gengar! I hope that's foreshadowing something. That is a fantastic pull, though. Definitely want that one and need it. Calm down. That's awesome. That artwork looks really good, too. Let's do this code card. I'm going to clean off the bench ASAP. It is getting absolutely busy up here. Hoot hoot. Beldum. Got the Breloom. Colossal. Box Order. And, come on, Cypher Maniac's code breaking. Whimsicott as the hollow. Now, nah, let's keep it moving. We got the code cards to give away. We've got full arts to try and track down and find. Croconaw again. Of course we get 10,000 of them. I actually think I need this Matang. I need a bunch of cards. Okay, Reuniclus. Sorry, I get too distracted. Slugma. And, oh, Iron Boulder. We've ignored Iron Boulder. I haven't even talked about this Pokemon. This is another one of those special illustration rare slash gold cards that we really need. But yeah, I just think there's so many other Pokemon because there's about seven really rare Pokemon you want in this set. Unfortunately, he comes number seven. You watch all the Iron Boulder fans come after me now. Ando, that's the best looking illustration rare. Ando is the most favorite Pokemon out of all of them. I'm so sorry, but you just if you're overlooking like Iron Crown and Walking Wake or something like that, he does come 7th. Okay, so we've got Iron Hands, Rescue Board, which is another playable card, and a Bramble Ghast again. Let's get going. This is so much fun, I swear. Opening weekend of these sets, and when I get to open up 100 packs or something, is the greatest week of my entire life. I have too much fun doing this. Here we go, Uri, and... <sighs> I'm waiting for that gold card. I'm waiting for us to hit that gold card, and I get to give away the Unlisted Leaf Mystery Pack. And I hope we hit a couple, because then I get to give away a few of them. Chatot. Oh, gosh. I'm tidying this up after this booster. Iron Junglus. Lycanroc. Salvatore. Oh, nice. Eee, look at that. It's Minchino. Can we get something else? No, nah, Coridon. Look at that, though. Amazing pull. Okay, Minchino right there as the illustration rare. Very, very happy with this. How good does that art look? I love it. I just feel like we're so spoiled with how much good artwork is in each set. 
and maybe we're taking for granted a lot, a lot of this cool art. I just feel like we overlook so many of these nice, beautiful cards at the moment. But, beautiful Minchino, hopefully we get the Chinchino. Let's tidy up the set and keep moving. Oh my, I cannot but oh, we're recording, we're going back again? Okay, sorry. I'm just, I'm so distracted. How do we pull this card? That is so sick! Gosh, I hope we pull another one. I hope we pull something else. Just as rare. I would love to see what those beasts look like. Just with that sparkling texture. And that one photographs really well. If you try to take a photo of Iron Crown right there, it comes up really, really nice. You can brag about that on Instagram so well. That Relicanth? I don't know why, I actually kind of like that Relicanth holo card too. Very photogenic set. A lot of people are comparing Temple Forces to, I don't know if you remember a set called Rebel Clash. Um, everyone thought that was an absolute disaster. Like, Rebel Smash, no one really liked it. Uh, oh, whoa! Pr what? How do we double up in the rarest A spec card? I guess that's gonna be a sword after one, so that's so fine. Man, okay, we're getting another Prime Catcher, which I can put to the side. Oh, sick! Look at this! Crocodile Reverse, and then Pharrell get a Holo. Good one. I'm gonna put that uh, Reverse right there, because then I can use it in the collection. But yeah. Rebel Clash, no one really liked. Oh, yuck. I hate that squeak. When they get that squeak, I just. Oh, sends me sideways. But no one collected Rebel Clash, and it was really cheap for a while. I remember those ETBs were like 60 bucks, and then on clearance, they were $40. Oh. Yay! No, was it Chinchino we needed? It was! Look at this! We got the Minchino Chinchino combination! Oh, I'm psyched about that. That's fantastic. So he's grown up in the same house right here. This is awesome. This is why this set goes down as one of my favorites. And again, like Rebel Clash, it'll go up in time. Even if this set met, might be overprinted, everyone might be like buying too much of it and or m m not buying enough and there's just too much in the store shelves, eventually it'll be expensive. Because it's non-stop action, you can like maybe the Beast. Maybe you like the Iron version of the Pokemon. There's something for everyone. And there's a lot of cool artwork cards. Ponida, Chatot. I want that Chatot illustration rare so bad. Oh, maximum build! Another sick one. Look at this. Attacks used by the Pokemon this card is attached to does 50 more damage to your opponent's active EX. Very, very good card. You definitely want it. Reverse Pikachu you want as well. It's gonna look good in the collection. Yeah, putting that belt on your Pokemon, you can then take out really big ones like Charizard. Uh, which usually, the only reason that Charizard deck works so well is because that Charizard's HP is so ridiculous, it's really hard to take down. And also it has like such a crazy attack on it too. Can we get something here, Litlin? Oh, nice! I don't think we have the regular Terraform. I think we have the full up version of this. So getting the uh, regular Terraform, beautiful. And you see that texture? That texture check, it's come through good. We should do that, we should start implementing the old texture checks, because I think a lot of beautiful texture cards. Well, overdue though, let's get... We've got an illustration rare, let's get another special illustration. Actually, flat out, let's get a full card. Just give me a boring old full color background. Hey! Or another illustration rare, I'll take that. It's our 10,000th for alligator. Charger Bug is just glistening. He's charging everyone's camping equipment. I need to take Charger Bug next time I go camping. Got the Snom, Sandy Shocks, Hand Trimmer, and... Nah, nothing. Oh no! Set it too early! We got the Sizzle EX. It appears to me that inside of the set, the EXs are a lot easier, or they seem to be in a bit more of an abundance than regular sets, and the Full Arts seem to be pulled back a lot. Because I just think about how much blank space is in my binder in the Full Arts section. Oh! Oh! Just as you talk about it! It's Uri! That's so cool! No way! Oh, that is such a good trainer card. That's our second Full Art Trainer as well. There's the uh, codes. And thank you so much everyone that does buy those on this delete packs, by the way. They're, you guys show so much love. I feel like I don't talk about them enough and you guys still want to show the love. It's amazing. C dot Dunsparce. I really, really appreciate it. And just to be able to go on the website and see everything we have to offer. Because we started selling a few booster box on there, um, which is from my personal collection and seeing you guys just yeah, support the website and everything. It really does keep the channel alive. Like, Pokemon card openings are something else to try and keep up with and fund. So this is really good. Oh, no way, it's a double. Oh, no way, it's awesome! Because it's the Iron Leaf version. I thought this was Iron Crown again. I was like, oh, I've got that one. All right, Unlisted Leaf. He pulls uh, Iron Leaves. EX Full Art. Put that one with our Uri Full Art. We're doing well. Very, very happy with our pull so far. Swing it around. But I am curious what our chase card will end up being. Now we got Iron Crown. It's probably gonna be like 
walking away, gouging fire. Uh, it will probably be, my prediction is, uh, Raging Bolt will be the toughest one to get. Just because it's one I want the most, but I genuinely just want to see what it looks like with that texture. I think it would be a gorgeous card. Hurry, and Drumper! Oh, Drumper illustration rare. I keep forgetting. Why we get distracted? Drumper and Chatot, guys. Gotta get that. I just want that real bad, and I would love to get a double, because I think that would be a cool card to give away. If you're a, not, like, a big Pokemon fan, um, and you just like posters or anime... Studio Ghibli style things. I think you'd love the card. Is there something here? Oh, nice! Raging Bolt! That's sick! Just as we talked about it. Yeah, he looks so cool. He is a photogenic Pokemon. He does- Oh, no! Nearly lost the pack. He does look really good in cards. Alright, let's try and unbox a few of these. They're about to fall off. There's just wrappers everywhere. Got some real first world problems here, guys. I've opened too many booster packs. There's too much stuff around. And do you notice the hit isn't actually in the back slot anymore? Oh my gosh, all these cards are sliding around. The hits are actually in the uh, second reverse slot. So the hit would be right there. Heavy Baton. Or the regular EX is in the hollow slot. Walking Wake. Haven't seen too much Walking Wake action. I'd love to see a little bit more. Actually, haven't seen too much Gouging Fire action. We haven't seen nearly enough as I thought we would. Roselia. Definitely been a more Iron Leaves, Iron Crown, Iron Boulder episode so far. Mist Energy, LGM, Relican, and a Whimsicott. Speaking of Iron Leaves, it's time for an Iron... Oh no. oh no. Mr. Incredible over here. I want too many protein shakes. Okay, you to the side. There we go. Swing it around. Come on, this is going to be the one. Ian Pa! Sorry, cat. We got Boltland, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance. We got the floor! Boom! There we go! Ladies and gentlemen, the first unlisted leaf mystery pack giveaway. Raging Bolt EX full of card. And again, a Mel Metal. It's always a Mel Metal. Oh, I love these gold cards. I don't care if Little Timmy, if your favorite YouTuber's telling you the gold cards are dead. That is such a false statement. These look amazing. Gosh, that is sick. Look at that sandy texture behind him. How good does that look? We pulled a gold card. That's so good. All right, one giveaway activated. I wonder what the gouging, the gouging fire gold card would look really nice too. Unlisted leaf, the Bramblin. Still got a fair few packs. I'd say like 30-ish packs left. Still time for us to try and track down another. Another crazy hit. Oh, we've done so well. Golden Raging Bolt. And then our Iron Crown illustration rare we got too. Far out. What a fun time. Okay, Rapidash. Oh, Maximum Bell again! We'll take that, of course. Unpheasant and Maridon. God, Ace Vets galore. We got two Prime Catchers. That's good. The Prime Catchers are my favorite. I think the belt is, in my head, really playable. But I, th I don't think, I think... Oh, nice, Bronzor. You can look at this. He's looking in the mirror. Got the Relicanth behind him. Don't think I've got this one. And if I do, I got it in Japanese for sure. It's been fun. I enjoy these 100 pack openings a lot. Frostmoth, Noctowl, Croconore. Got the Bianca's Devotion. Haven't seen that full of card. And what's it? Oh, sick! That's sick! So these regular Schmegular Pokemon are in the last slot, and then the future Ancients seem to be in the second reverse slot. Interesting. All right, Incineroar EX full of card. How good does that look? Look at the awesome like claw marks or fire marks behind him. I'm really happy with this poll. Okay, we are making progress in our binder. Let's clear this off and get onto the home stretch. Do you see this? Do you see that amount of packs? That's all we have left out of the 100 Temporal Forces booster opening that we've done today. One from the back. Darkness type, Roly Coley, Yanpa, Sableye. Is this thing in the back? Rescue Board, Bianca's Devotion, and that Drampa. It's just haunting us. Like, yep, I definitely exist. I am a gorgeous illustration rare that you could track down. Come on, what can I pull? Arbok, C Dot, Totodile, Sharpedo. I just want enough of the rare cards where I have a shot at actually completing the set to. This is what I'm talking about. It teases me. Look at this. Hey, Ando, I definitely exist. Look at this artwork. I imagine it extended. How good would it look? I know, it would look amazing. Just can't get it. But I think the key for the rest of these is to get enough of the rare cards or even just double up on a few where it gives us a really good shot. Unlisted Leaf Start at completing the set tomorrow. Okay, Roselia, Cutie Fly, Iron Valiant, Sandy Shocks. Here we go, Shaman, Lickitung, and a Fluttermane. Fluttermane, like Maridon, and 
Yeah, Drumper. We're just doubling up a whole bunch of these holo cards. Okay, Metal type, Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramblin. Got the Mist Energy, Sandy Shocks again. Lick Licky. That's what I'm talking about. Another Fluttermane. It's the re, uh, Ancient and Future Pokemon. Metal. Oh, sorry. Lightning type. Carcoal. Got the Grotal again, which is another one I need. Screamtail. Vicavolt. Oh, that is stunning. It's going to look so good with the rest of the uh, illustration rares, though. I reckon one more. One more ridiculously rare card. We've got a gold. We've got special illustration rare. Iron Crown. Can we do one more? Arbok. There's so many in this set. There's like seven gold cards alone. We've only got one. I'm going to have to trade my entire collection tomorrow to try and get any shot. And getting close to finishing the binder off. And we did so well. Like, after completing the main set out of our first booster box, I was really thinking, like, man, 100 packs, we're going to make such a big dent. This screams to me how rare. Like, if you get... Oh, yes, boys! That's it, Iron Thorns. That's it. Meryl's riding Grotel through the... Like, look at this! Through the plains, Starly. Oh, that is fantastic. That is an artwork, ladies and gentlemen. The more we open, the more I do realize how rare... It is going to be to try and get the gorgeous texture cards. Even Fall Arts don't seem to be as much. Center Scorch and Mudsdale with that Trampa again. Oh no, that's probably like 15 packs, maybe even more, 16 boosters. Down to the final wire. There's the code card. We got a Fighting type, LGM, Sizzly Pede. I will jump into the Pikachu if I get Raging Bolt Special Illustration Rare because the chances of that happening are so slim. Oh! Come on, we did it! Gengar EX full of card! That is amazing. That is sick. I'm really happy with the pile we got right there. It makes me excited to put this uh, binder together after the episode and show you guys. The progress is going to be great. I reckon we can make a slightly bit more of a dent though. How good is the fact that Gengar though? I wasn't expecting to get that pull. Screamtail and a Whimsicott. Iron Crown. We were rooting for an Iron Crown, and we got one. So now maybe we get... Yeah, I don't know. Iron Leaves? Oh, I'd, I'd rather a Beast. I'd rather a, we get a Special Illustration Rare Beast card over a Special Illustration Iron card. Iron Boulder does look good, though. Oh, what do we got? It's Iron Boulder. Oh, no. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, I did it! Holy smokes! Oh, Pikachu! I've just broken Trico, too! I pulled Iron Crown, Raging Bolt... And then Raging Bolt Gold Card. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't want to call this the greatest unlisted leaf opening I've ever done on the channel, but this might actually go down as the greatest unlisted leaf video I've ever done on the channel. Out of just a hundred packs out of a vending machine, I secure both of the illustration rares. Oh! <laughs> that is insane! This card is so stunning! This is so beautiful! Look at him! Oh, this is so perfect. 208. Secret rare. Now we just need like a gouging fire, walking weight to go with it. But I don't even care about those cards right now because I am so happy I've done this. Let's put it with our gold card. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Raging Bolt like fans. They've hit the like button so hard on today's episode. It's gone through the YouTube screen. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> how do you do that? How do you do that? Oh, wow. I can't, because like in my head, it's like you get one or the other. You get Iron Crown Special Illustration Rare. You, you know, you thank the Pokemon Gods. You're like, well done, Arceus. You, oh, wow. Yep, you'd give me that. No, nah, you, oh my gosh. All right. Neo Up Energy. Uh, I think I need this one. I can't remember. I built the binder last night. I reckon we need that one. Because I need three more A-Spec cards. But we got two of the ones I don't have already. So there's definitely one more I need. I can't remember if it's that one or not. I just can't even think right now. But yeah, in my head, I rationed it out. I'm like, you know what? You either get Iron Crown or you get Raging Bolt. You don't get both. Especially, like, particularly those two. Maybe, if you're lucky, you'd get an Iron Boulder Special Illustration Rare. And you'd get, like, I don't know, Gouging Fire for what card. That is just crazy. Two of the rarest ones. I've never been that lucky. It never works out this good. I, gosh, this is ridiculous. This is going to be like my birthday luck or something. What's behind here? Ah, oh, another one. That's okay. That's okay. Again, we're going to take these doubles. Come on. Iron Crown sitting there. Imagine we get a double up on the Iron Crown. It is possible. Maridon once again. Playable Maridon. 
Walking wake. I see you, buddy. Getting a walking wake or a gouging fire would be great. It would go perfect. Oh, just as I talk about it. Just as I talk about it. No way. Walking wake EX. Full art card. That is sick. How did we do it? How did we get another one? Walking wake EX. Suicune is standing up, ladies and gentlemen, and he's looking good. Oh, if you are not excited for the binder recap, I don't know what's wrong with you. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Can we get something else? That was our full art card I was waiting for all episode. I felt like we were definitely owed one eventually. <sighs> okay, I could not get anything for the rest of the episode, and that's so fine. I've definitely spent all my luck. Another Gengar EX. All the Gengar fans will be frothing that one. We got Gengar EX full art too. Oh, I haven't. I don't think the uh, the crazy part is. Oh, there's there's another card. There's another hit. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Is that- we're missing that one, aren't we? That's actually the last piece of the part. I genuinely don't have the full art. Oh my goodness! This is now the Raging Bolt special. Couple packs left. Do you think Gouging Fire full art would be in there? I wonder. They all seem to have exactly the same background too. You notice that? Let's have our fingers crossed. Let's see if we can't get Gouging Fire. Is it possible? Come on. Oh, the egg is devotion full art. It's McDouble. It is a full art double cheeseburger right now. We're going to go for three right now. Bianca's devotion full art card. Incredible. Can we do a triple cheeseburger? As they would call it on Wii Sports Bowling, we're going for a turkey. Let's see if we can. Oh, and imagine it. If it's gouging fire full art, I'm going to jump out this window right here. You can see the window. It's cut in the roof already, ready for Ender to leap out of. Gouging Fight EX. You ready? Play the most intense music possible behind me right now. Because that's how I'm feeling. Can I do... Oh, there's something there. Is there something there? What is it? It is Reuniclus. It's nothing at all. Let's go for the next one. Let's go for the next one. Let's see if we can't get the next hit. If it's a full light card or not. You to the side. Is there a texture? I don't think so. Oh, no. It's really going to come down to the wire. Come on. One of these has got to have it. We've seen the walking wake. We've seen the raging bolt. Can we get... Oh my goodness, there's nothing in these packs. Okay, this is really worrying. Probably like the last six right there. There's gonna be nothing and in this slot. Iron Hands, Nuzleaf, Mawile, and Fluttermane again. Come on, Iron Crown. You've been beautiful to us. This is now officially the raging bolt box, but... Can we get one more hit? Oh! This is the terrible run. Whimsicott again. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Six to last. This is basically like a blister pack. Or two blister packs worth. We got Metagross, Pit of, and a Coridon. It's been a bit of a dry run towards the end. Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves. Getting unboxed by Unlisted Leaf. That's definitely going to count for something. It counts for a Gengar EX double up. And a Yampa Reverse. That's okay. Let's put the Gengar to the side right here. Fourth to last. Raging Bolt, buddy. You know what? Is that the final one? Nah, there's one more. There's one more. I want to save Raging Bolt for the last pack artwork. I'm going to do the last. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to do the last three properly. Iron Leaves. These are all very fitting Pokemon to open up. Here's the code card for you guys. One from the back. <sighs> Gouging Fire. We haven't really seen him. We know what he looks like. We'd take anything. Full Art, Special Illustration Rare. Maybe even the regular EX, just so we can say we got all three of the uh, beasts right there. Oh, no. Oh, Iron Boulder. Okay, okay. That's all right. We're back in the redemption round right here. Iron Boulder EX. Wouldn't mind that as well. It's Iron Crown. We thought this would be the MVP of the episode early on getting that special illustration rare. Turns out that got heavily overshadowed. There's the code card. One from the back. We got Darkness. Ponita, Shatot, everyone's holding their breath right now. The holy smokes. Can Ando do it? Can he secure the gouging fire final finale? <sighs> I thought flames equal Entei. They don't. Incineroar EX. We've got two for two. I know it does count. But you look what it's down to. It's Mr. Raging Bolt himself. Mr. Bolt to you. Let's open up Mr. Bolt. And then... I'm going to build the craziest binder I've ever seen and take it to trade day tomorrow and flex on everybody. 
with some of the greatest hits I've seen, but I'm also gonna have to trade my absolute heart out to complete the set. We're gonna, we need so many illustration rares, it's not even funny. So many gold cards. Can we get one more? Let's do a giveaway. Let's end it with, oh. If we got Gouging Fire gold card right now to do another giveaway, to get another gold card, I couldn't even put that into words. It would be so poetic. Giraffe Ray, you ready? We end it with a Bramble Ghast. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to toot my own horn, but that might be the best 100 pack opening we've ever done on the channel. Looking at how much this binder is now complete makes me so happy. We're just missing Torterra on that first page, and then look at this. That'll be first page done, second, third, fourth, and fifth, all complete out of the main set. And then, I'll get the sixes as well. On the seventh, it's just a couple of regular EXs that we start to be missing. I think it's like Iron Crown, um, obviously the Torterra at the start, we need Maridon EX, but besides that, we're completely done. We also need two A-spec cards, so we need the uh, drum and we also need the cape, and then we get onto the illustration rares. Look, there are still a bunch of really cool ones I would love to get. Litlin, Shatter, Drumper, any of those would be fantastic. When we get into the full art section, it gets a little bit worrying. I want to see more Gouging Fire action. For some reason, Raging Bolt, amazing. Walking Wake, been really, really friendly. But we're missing like a lot of Gouging Fire cards. Now, the Ultra Rare section terrifies me, which honestly means I've got my work cut out for me. So if you've got any product recommendations that you've had amazing pulls with, what do you think I should open next? Or do we just head straight to trade day and see how much I can trade for? Let me know your suggestions to completing the set in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. But for now, drop a comment in the comment section below for your chance to win the Unlisted Leaf Mystery Pack because we finally got the Raging Bolt Gold Full Art Card.